Parents beware. California bill punishing parents who decline to affirm their children's transgender identities. If the bill is signed into law, a parent who disagrees with their child seeking social transitioning or gender transition procedures could lose custody of their child and face child abuse charges. Joining us now is Project 21 volunteer, publicist, and political activist Whitley Yates. Also joining us is policy analyst and Project 21 member Donna Jackson. Um, I want to start with this. California Governor Newsom, he's been supportive of transgender students, is expected to sign the bill into law. Donna, how shocking is this? This is shocking, uh, not from the perspective that California is leading the way. They're already number one in the number of kids in foster care being taken away from uh, their parents, thanks in part to Kamala Harris, who targeted black kids and parents. Um, but, you know, the terrible thing is that kids, especially going through divorce, already feel guilty. Now these kids can be manipulated by parents who just want to win a case to be pushed into saying that they're, they're want, they want to change their agenda, a, a, a gender. And this is so disturbing, especially with the manipulative laws, uh, divorce laws in California, where you got the 10 years where parents are uh, really at, in a blood sport. And I, I think that this is the wrong direction and people should all be worried. Whitley, what do you think the what fallout will be from this? What, what, is there going to be a domino effect? I absolutely think that there will be a domino effect because what you're having is the government telling you how to raise your children. This is overreaching and it's an actual terrible idea when the government can tell, can tell you who and how to raise your child, what you need to affirm and what you don't need to affirm and whether that's the truth or not. So what you're going to see is this policy will then continue to have far more overreaching policies on how parents should actually be parents. I want to move on to this. Dove is hit by a growing boycott. The beauty giant Dove is facing a Bud Light style boycott for partnering with a controversial Black Lives Matter activist who was previously accused of getting a white student expelled over misheard comments. Donna, your reaction? Oh, you know what? Uh, corporate America apparently doesn't, hasn't learned their lesson. Lesson. Um, everything that they're doing is actually to offend half the country, half the population. Why on earth would you? get a woke group like Black Lives Matter, who, by the way, did nothing for African-American communities, and their only goal was to destroy the two-parent heterosexual family. Um, this is the worst direction they can go in, but corporate America has not learned their lesson, and we absolutely hope that they get bud lighted. <laughs> Whitley, your response. What's your reaction? You know, the entire campaign that Dove is on is actually kind of strange. This fat liberation campaign, I don't think that we should be placating people that are in morbid obesity. And then once again, association breeds assimilation, meaning that Dove, if you partner with Black Lives Matter activists who utilize that type of platform to attack people and say that they heard things that they didn't say, get that student then kicked out of school, what does that say for your brand? I think they should stick to keeping stuff clean and utilizing their platform to sell so these companies I know stick to what you know sell what you are selling uh, anyway we have to leave it there but thank you so much Whitley Yates appreciate it Donna Jackson appreciate it